Alright, what's up guys? I have uh, some PO replays. Oh, yeah, there's are my teams, by the way. This team is the one you guys will be seeing. Uh, my first ever UU team. Uh, pretty hyper offensive. Yeah. I wasn't looking for balance. I was looking for uh, domination. And, yeah. Uh, this battle is my first ever uh, UU battle. Um, I only say first ever because I was unable to save my very first one where I got fucking smashed. I had to edit this team, like, badly. I got fucking destroyed in a way that I had no clue could happen. Um, not by some weird shit. It just, it just happened really bad. Anyway, Weirdo11 is the guy's name. So let's just jump into this bitch. Uh oh. I hid my replay. Wow, that's professional. Anyway. Uh. He's got a Claydol, an Umbreon, an Aerodactyl. Now, right here, I was like, I'm totally gonna scare him out right now. With, uh. You know. My Stone Edge. And, uh. Yeah. I didn't. I. I had no. I thought he was gonna go for rocks. I was gonna sub. Yeah, that that went totally wrong. So I was like, well, I'm gonna get the fuck out of there. He's probably locked into earthquake. And judging by that turn right there, <clears throat> I pretty much confirmed that. Now, right here, I'm like, fuck this shit. I'm gonna trick something. Bam! Tricked a fucking mill tank with specs. Now I got T waved. I didn't give a shit. This thing's burned in specs. You wanna talk about titty ass useless? Like my lord. So, I believe I went for Volt Switch right there, which would have been nice for some momentum. But at the same time, I get the ultimate switch initiative by going second. So that turn, not really a big deal, me getting paralyzed. Um, I send out my Heracross, and I'm like, oh, I'm going to scare this thing out. This is a sub Heracross. Now, I know you guys are like, dude, you have sub on everything, but eventually something will get a sub up, right? So I kill that. Bam, Moxie Boost. Yes. Things are looking pretty good. Now, I'm like, well, he's not going to say anything that outspeeds me. And he sends out a fucking deli bird. Now, I was like, what the fuck is this thing going to do? And it kills me. Now, I believe right here, um, some spectator asshole uh, chimes in and says some dumb shit. Uh, he's like, Hyro suck. Oh yeah, what the fuck? is what he says. I'm like, bitch, I don't play Yu Yu. I had no fucking clue. He's like, a deli bird got a kill. Hyro sucks. So I'm like, what the fuck ever, dude? I, I don't give a shit. I was like, was it... I asked the guy, was it Scarfed? It says right here. Is that thing Scarfed? Uh, so I go for Swords Dance and get burned. And that's when the guy's like, you suck. And he says no, that it wasn't Scarfed. Now, like I said, I don't play Yu Yu ever. And I didn't even... Like, Delibird's not even in the UU tier. Uh, yeah, and right here I'm like, dude, I'm new to, uh... Oh, wow, I'm an idiot. I totally derped and said, oh, you. Anyway, what the fuck ever. Um, I use Iron Head, and then he uses Haze. I'm already burned, but whatever. I don't, I don't care. So, Delibird's the worst Pokemon ever. This guy, dude, this guy talking so much shit, I swear to God... And then this guy just chimes in with him. He's like, yeah, Deli Bird is bad. Hyro's bad. <laughs> Let's all laugh at me just like fucking up, up big time. Like I and I said, I'd never seen a Deli Bird in battle, so I had no clue what to expect. And he said it's banded with hustle. So now I know when I see a Deli Bird, that's what will happen to me. I will get fucking aerial ace and everything. So yeah, I learned something new. Uh, I was like, ah, I need to research you more. So, that clock is ticking down. Oh, yes, I sent out my Bisharp. Now, this was risky as a motherfucker right here. I switched in my... Oh, no, no, not yet. I switched in my Rotom predicting the will wisp knowing he would go for it. And I believe right here, I just go for the overheat. No. Yes, I did. Okay. Yeah, because I was like, dude, fuck that. I'm not going to switch anything in. Now, looking at his team, he has an Umbreon, a Miltank, a uh, Delibird, 
And I don't remember what the last one is, but I'm not really too worried about it. Now this is great because I know he's going to go for foul play because he has nothing to wish to. So I just get that volt switch off. Now, this is when the fucking the trophy winner of the battle comes in. Now, you're going to kind of scoff at my set. Oh, the claydol. I sword stance in this thing's face. Now it's in danger. I know for a fact it's probably not going to attack predicting the sucker punch. I go for the iron head knowing damn good and well it will kill. Now I know that this will come in. I don't give a shit. I know it's banded, I know it has hustle, and I know that it's going to go for aerial ace. Another one. So Komodo is like, oh, he returns. Well, guess what? Low sweep. Just let it, just let, let that sink in. Low sweep. Okay? And that is how I swept from where a guy said I sucked to both of them I haven't seen this before and then the other guy said damn yeah the guy that said I sucked was like damn the other guy's like nice good game um and I said I'm messing with a new set it's not really a new set I just chose an option over standard and it fucking paid off big time the reason I'm choosing low sweep over brick break or any other shit like that is because of the fact that it lowers speed if you can predict a switch in, you can give Visharp the speed that it needs to outspeed something, smash it with a sword stance boosted, anything. Iron Head or Sucker Punch, whichever you may need. It's awesome. Like, I fucking love this set right now. So, yeah. Here is another one. And it's going to open all tiny. He has a uh, Durant, Kofagrigus, uh, Slay King, Slay King, Slay King, I don't know how people say it. Uh, Liper, Sigilith, and Magnemite. <laughs> yes, a level 1 Magnemite. So I'm like, well, that's going to be level 1. I don't care. So I lead off with my Kabalion again, just trying to do something. And he fucking transmits me, dude. What the hell? Who runs in trainment? So I was like, well, I'm just going to get the hell out of here. So I switch into my Rotom, and I'm like, oh. Here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to trick. And I get blocked. So I'm like, shit. I am specs locked into trick. I'm forced to switch at this point. I could have stayed in, but, I mean, it, it's pretty much going to uh, Sucker Punch or, yeah, or at T-Waves. Now, right there, I felt so disrespected when I got T-Waved. I was like, I didn't even know this thing could learn fucking t wave so this bitch is banking on paralysis and I'm like, um, fuck that. Heracross doesn't do that shit. Heracross and FDR were not friends in the leg department. And goes for swagger. I believe there's a swagger foul play sub T wave. Swagger foul play sub two yeah, that's four moves. So I just keep going for close combats at this point. Um knowing that anything that's gonna come in is going to kill me in one shot at this point. I'm paralyzed. I don't really need Heracross that bad, but I do go for the close combat, thinking he's going to use entrainment, predicting me to switch to, uh, because I am scared out at this point. I went for that fucking close combat again, predicting him to switch, and I kill myself in confusion. 100% damage in confusion. You want to talk about getting my ass kicked. He predicted me to break the sash, so I burn him. So, yeah, good luck, uh, keeping your Magnemite around. Um, I was not about to get, like, some weird Endeavor fucking bullshit happening to me. So, I know he's gonna protect, because, uh, I, ju I just had that weird feeling that that thing was gonna have to protect. Is that weird? Anyway, um, yeah, kill it with a heat wave. He uses entrainment. I just go for heat wave again. Why the fuck not? Now, here comes Sigilith, and I'm like, wow, this is scary, because it's probably going to cosmic power in my face. I switch in my Rotom, because I'm like, dude, I can still trick this thing. And people are like, oh, you tricked a flame orb. Well, I can't get burned. So, yeah. It doesn't even matter. Then I volt switch out while it's locked into stored power. Because I thought I was going to lock into cosmic power. But I end up being slower. That sucked. I switch in my, my Bisharp knowing that Sigilyph cannot hurt me. Swords dance in this Kofagrigus' fucking face. Go for the motherfucking Iron Head. And I get the flinch now how much that flinch actually mattered he's probably gonna go for wisp 
that's a pretty big fucking deal. But you know what? Hacks is part of the game, and it's going to happen. So I go for low sweep, thinking for some fucking reason that it would kill. And I find out it doesn't. Truant's activated. Doesn't matter. He went for pursuit? Not sure why. I believe I did predict... Um, Damn it, what did I predict right there? Oh, nothing, because I won. Uh, that's not me being a cocky prick. That's just me um, finding a way to play around Bisharp to where it's, like, really good. So if uh, you guys would like to battle any time on the DS, I will be testing this team more and more and more to uh, try and find out who sucks. If you guys can find out who sucks for me, that's even better. Because then I don't have to deal with all that shit. So, yeah, you guys should definitely let me know if you think uh, something that you have recommended could go on my team better. I could use a special attacker now that I'm looking at it. I just... My Rotom specs is my special attacker, but then if I have to trick my specs, then it, it loses a substantial amount of power. Um, that kind of sucks. So, I'm looking at this team. It's not really too bad, but I, I like it. I like Bisharp, dude. Bisharp's a bad motherfucker. Life Orb, Sword Stance, get out of my face. Everything dies. I thought that, that burn was totally in vain. Look at that. Dude, this plus two motherfucker right here, even burn, did 51%. That I would say that pretty much negates that burn after Life Orb and uh, plus two. And this video has been far too goddamn long. So, let's get into the uh, part of it where I'm gonna show you guys my team so you guys can uh, I know I'm doing this totally backwards compared to what most people do but I don't know I, I feel like showing you guys beforehand is kinda weird so iron head sucker punch sword stance low sweep that is the highlight move of this set because Bisharp is not the fastest Pokemon on the block and it lets me run adamant because if I predict uh, I would say standard Heracross, but it's more standard sub Heracross. Sub lefties Moxie Heracross is no goddamn joke. This thing hits motherfuckers hard, and they're like, oh, I'll switch out on the scarf to close combat, and then I get a free sub. So that's great. Um, Trick Willow, I guess I'm running two moves with specs that don't do damage. Now, this seems stupid, but I'll show you guys another video pretty soon. I have to find it. This shit shuts down Baton Pass hard. I have standard, specially defensive Zapdos, except I'm running Discharge over T-Bolt for hacks. Yes, I want Paralysis. I have Heat Wave, Hidden Power, uh, Fire, right? Oh, Ice. Because, uh, Flygon pretty much walls this thing otherwise. And then I have Roost, of course. I have my, uh, physically defensive... Scald Fire Blast, Slack Off, and Psy Shock, uh, Slow Bro. I don't know why I'm running Psy Shock now I'm looking at it. I mean, uh, Snorlax is scary though, because yeah, he's, he's just big and nasty. And I'm running pretty much the same thing here, but I'm running Sub Swords, Iron Head, Close Combat. Now, the only reason the set, uh, is, is in the back of my mind, I'm not really too, uh, firm on it is because a lot of people are predicting the support T-Wave, Stealth Rock, uh, Close Combat, and Iron Head for, like, Paraflinch, uh, Kabalion. Now, this is great because if I don't get hit, I get up my sub, then I can Swords, and then I outspeed everything, barring, like, Scarf, you know, attackers, but, I mean, dude, I feel like that's pretty good as a set, but, once again, I realize that I have no heavy special hitters, so that much sucks. That means if someone brings something that uh, is a physical wall, I'm kind of fucked. Well, I guess Rotom kind of covers it. I don't know. Tell me, guys, tell me what you guys think about this team. I like it. You may not. But, uh, yeah. So, like, I hate it, subscribe, and rate it. Let me know what the fuck you guys think. All that fun shit. Uh, like, subscribe down here. I'm trying to point to it, but I'm not on YouTube. So it's kind of pointless. Um... Yeah, see you guys later, and, uh, oh, holy shit, big deal today, Merry Christmas to you all, um, I know I only have, like, 27 subscribers, but, even though they're 
our 27, 28 subscribers. I love every single one of you guys. Um, it, it's great to know that there are, you know, 27 people that are willing to watch me talk about Pokemon because, you know, though I'm not as big as, you know, some of these other guys like Shofu, Xenon, uh, I, I mean, the list goes on forever. Pokemon, blah, blah, blah. I'm not going to get into that. Um, and I may not seem as good as them, but if you give me a chance, I think my narrations kind of bring something a little, slightly different to the table, a little more open, a little more wild. Uh, I guess I am slightly comparable to Shofu and how I narrate as far as just being a, a crazy son of a bitch. Uh, one thing that I do like to do though, I take pride in myself, is uh, taking everything in one take. Yeah. So uh, I have a Christmas present for you all. Uh, it's pretty funny, it's uh, me getting destroyed. So if you guys stay tuned to my channel, you'll get to see that along with me trolling my nephew on Christmas. So, um, yeah, like I said, like, hey, subscribe and rate. Let me know what you guys think of my team, my battle, uh, my weird Bisharp set, though it's not really weird, it's just an option over a standard. So, uh, yeah, now that I'm getting long-winded and ranting, see ya!